Rosemary strikes a fever, her mom tries to keep a cool head. I think the natural inclination is to be nervous and you want to figure out what the cause is and figure out what you need to do to get it better as fast as possible. It may be a major worry, but most kids' fever are no problem, says pediatrician Nancy Witham. The fever is helping our bodies kill the infection that's making us sick. Most frantic phone calls come from parents who want to know if a fever is too high. Truth is, doctors don't consider a temperature a fever until it tops 100. Fever is in that 102 range that seems to be most of our winter cold and flu virus fevers. If your child is, say, a four or five year old, the fever itself is nothing to be alarmed about. So when do you call or visit the doctor? Anything above the 100, um, 3.5 to 104 range. Um, can be associated with more significant infections, although it doesn't have to be. So we want to know about fevers that high. When the mercury rises, most moms reach for reinforcements. We try to treat the fever um, as quickly as possible using Tylenol as our first line medication. Um, and then we just pay attention to other symptoms that she's having. It's actually surprisingly better to potentially just let that fever be. Well, there's good data to suggest that the fever actually helps our immune system fight off that infection. If your child is undergoing chemotherapy, has a stiff neck along with fever, or one that lasts more than five days, you should consult your doctor immediately. Otherwise, it may be best to let nature take its course. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.